Hey, what's happening? It's B-Side. And listen, today we're going to go over one of the coolest discontinued basses I've ever played. Hey, thank you so much for joining me today. Today we're talking about the Big Owl. This is an amazing bass put out by Music Man. Um, and it's discontinued. And I know I'm a little late to the party with the reviews to this, but I'm so excited about this bass that I think a lot of people would really find a lot of use in these. I just don't think they got the traction that they really wanted with them. But I thought it'd be worth at least reviewing it because this is new to me. This is a new, uh, a new instrument to me within the last month or so. And I've been so excited about it. And I think you can, uh, you know, you can still find them used on eBay and things like that. So it's worth reviewing it now so you can check it out. So what's the story? It's a crazy shape, right? Like you don't see many basses looking like that, okay? So the story is there is a guitar that Music Man does called the Albert Lee. And it looks just like this, just smaller. Um, the long story short on that is that Albert Lee went to the Music Man factory uh, when they were starting to make an artist deal with them. Uh, Eddie Van Halen had just left. Uh, they were planning, my, my understanding is that they were going to kind of look at that. They were they had that model, right, the, the, the Eddie Van Halen model that uh, now needed a name. They had created a guitar that looked like just like this called the Albert Lee. It's actually one of my favorite guitars from the Music Man family. I'm sorry, they had created a guitar that looked like this that's now the Albert Lee that they were going to call the Axis. Okay, that's what this is going to be called. And that actually makes sense, right? You kind of got that cool shape to it. Kind of, you can see why it's called the Axis. Well, Albert Lee came into the shop and saw that guitar and uh, was stoked on it and said, hey, I want that to be the Albert Lee model. So if you Google Music Man Albert Lee guitar, you'll see a guitar that looks almost just like this, just with two humbuckers or maybe three P90s. And obviously it's guitar size. So fast forward quite a few years, Music Man starting to experiment with some new models, things like that, and they came out with this bass, which is called the Big Al. So it gets its name because it's a bigger version of the Albert Lee guitar. And these came in a handful of different pickup configurations. This one has the three single coil pickups, which is my favorite configuration of it. It also came in a single humbucker and I think a dual humbucker. Um, depending on where you look online, there, there's potentially less than a thousand of the single coil ones made, less than 2,000 total of these bases made. Um, so they are definitely on the rarer side. Um, but once again, I mean, if you don't sell a whole lot of them, then you don't keep making them. But here's what's cool about this. Okay, the Albert Lee, one of the coolest things, especially about the three single coils, as I hide back here behind it, is that you'll see that there's, not only do you have knobs, but you have buttons. So essentially, this is a passive and an active bass. So the first switch down here turns the bass from passive active. So you can be in passive mode or active mode. If you're in passive mode, just these two knobs do anything. So it's just like um, a P bass. So you have volume and tone in passive mode. So it's awesome, just like a P bass with 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 a passive a or <laughs> a passive uh, circuit and volume and tone. So super easy. Uh, for full disclosure, that's normally how I play this one because I like to just plug it and go. You have three other buttons here. And so those three buttons are each one of these pickups. Um, and so actually, let me get you a little bit closer look here so we can talk about this. So you have these three buttons here. So each one of these buttons controls one of these pickups, whether on or off. So you can have any combination of these three pickups. You're not limited by a switch. It can be on or off. And you can, so you can have whatever you want there, um, boom. And then if you're in active mode, then you have these controls here and you can see they're stacked. Um, so you're going to get all the tonal control you want in an active. Now this is an 18 volt. So you can see right here, there's two battery boxes right here. These are the classic Music Man battery boxes. So they're super easy to open up, throw a battery in there, close it up, you're good to go. And that's, I mean, it's just, plus it has kind of a different look, right? The neck is the neck shape sim similar, if you're talking about Music Man, to a Sterling. Um, and in the world of, say, Fender, that's going to be more like a jazz neck. So it's a little bit slimmer, you know, than a Stingray. And so it's a little more comfortable to play. 
a lot of players nowadays, you're seeing a lot where they have a, a precision-based body but a jazz neck. Um, Duff McKagan from Guns N' Roses does that. Um, the bass, bass player from Greta Van Fleet is doing that. Um, Jocko used to practice on a P bass and then go to a jazz bass, or I think he had a jazz body with a P bass neck just for practice because it was so much bigger, and he'd go play with a jazz neck. So the jazz neck is really popular, and this type of pickup configuration means you're getting as many tones as you could possibly dream of. Um, one complaint people have had about these on the internet is that the output volume can be a little bit low in either passive or active mode. And I am, I'm seeing that a little bit, you know, when I plug in my Stingray, um, the Stingray volume is definitely, it's definitely putting more output volume. Um, I don't see it as a big problem because you can just turn up your amp a little bit. Nobody's playing their amp very, I mean, at 10. So you have juice there. It's not like a big problem. Um, but that's the only real negative thing I've heard. Uh, you have these cool Music Man open gear tuners. Give you a shot of those real quick. And, uh, and that's that. So let's hear a couple tones real quick. I'm just going to play a couple notes. Nothing crazy here. But let's do the... Let's see here. How about we'll do the front pickup first. Now let's do that middle pickup. I'm sorry, that was the the, uh, the neck and the middle. So now let's just do middle. Okay, how about we'll do the bridge pickup. Okay, now let's do the bridge and middle. And let's do all three. My favorite is the neck in the middle, so we're gonna to go to that. Add the tone all the way up. Let's back that off just so you can hear it. I went all the way the other way, so just so you can hear that. Bring that back up. And there you go, the Big Al bass from Music Man. This thing's killer. You're gonna start seeing it on some more videos. I think I'm gonna keep this one around. This is called Candy Tan or Tangerine Pearl is the name of this color. I am in love with it. If you look at some of my past videos, long time ago, uh, I used to have one, a Stingray in this color that I wish I still had. So if you have one that you're looking to get rid of, especially the one with the all rosewood neck, get in touch with me. But other than that, there you go. The Big Al from Music Man. This could be the coolest bass that's no longer being made. And uh, if you can get your hands on one, I would do it. They are amazing basses. You're going to get compliments every time I take it out. I've only had it for about a month or two, but every time I go out and play, people are always asking me, what's that? It's so awesome. It looks great. Um, it just it, You'll just stand out a little bit from the crowd. So there you go. B-side with the Bass Factory. We'll talk to you soon. Hey, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope a couple things happened today. One, I hope you had some fun. Two, I hope you learned something today. And three, I hope you feel more empowered as a bass player because that's the whole goal, really. And if you want to become a, a larger part of the Bass Factory community, I, I'd encourage you to do uh, three things. One, make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. Two, check out our Patreon page because that's where we do Patreon-only posts. Patreon only giveaways, uh, as well as give out free backing tracks, all sorts of stuff. And uh, you can get the link below for that. And three, make sure you check out uh, check us out on Instagram, just Instagram.com slash The Bass Factory. We're always doing a f ton of fun stuff over there. So with that, thank you again for, uh, for getting this far in the video. You're at the very end. So uh, thank you, and we'll talk to you soon.